Coffee Chat. Today we are talking summer trends. Woohoo! So, <laughs> this is interesting, right? Summer trends. Who cares what you're wearing this summer when we're not actually going anywhere, right? Um, no, but seriously, so I, <laughs> this has been such a weird summer. Um, I did order some summer clothes a few weeks ago and they've recently arrived and I'm super excited about them, but if you follow along with outfit formulas, if you do my styling program, then you know that a lot of us are gonna be team closet shop this summer, uh, meaning that we're shopping our closets to create outfits um, to wear all summer long. So um, that's adding in a fun new element to the program, but it's really cool because we have a lot of women who are really 100% focused and committed on shopping their closets. And I think that's the beauty of outfit formulas is that you can absolutely do that. You do not have to go out and spend a bunch of money or buy a bunch of new clothes. You can add in a few new pieces if you want to or fill in your gaps or whatever. But um, the cool thing about the capsule wardrobe for this summer is that at least 16 of the items are closet staples that are on the shopping list. So I'm gonna run through some of my favorite trends with you today, show you some new pieces that I've bought, some pieces that have been in my closet for a while that I'm planning to reuse, like this striped top and, yep, yeah, the sports bra. <laughs> um, and we're gonna just talk through some of the trends that are out there, but I also wanna let you know that last spring, or this spring, I guess it's still spring, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, one of the things that was kind of new that I offered to the community was I did a download called five outfit formulas you need this spring well it was super popular we like broke the internet with it and decided to do it for summer yay so it's live today you can download it right now it is at getyourprettyon.com slash the number five outfit formulas that's it getyourprettyon.com slash the number five outfit formulas and you can download my five free outfit formulas for summer and then you can go shop your own closet for them and show me what you put together so i'm excited to share these trends with you today a lot of these pieces are going to be in that free download so if you want links to them go ahead and do the free download um, also all of the links to these pieces are on the shopping list for the summer 2020 outfit formulas capsule wardrobe so if you want to do that you can sign up today we opened registration this morning it's just 39 bucks um, and I'm gonna style you all summer long all summer all the way to fall <laughs> we have lots of fun outfits on here we have a cool bonus if you are struggling with swimwear this summer um, one of the bonuses is a body shape swimwear guide so I've got lots of recommendations in there for you so that you can choose the proper swimwear uh, for your body shape so that's kind of cool too all right so let's jump in and talk about trends a little bit um, I'm not seeing a lot with summer trends that's totally different than what we were seeing in the spring. We're seeing a lot of the same color trends. We're seeing a lot of the same pattern trends. Um, in general, I think that everything going on right now has sort of affected fashion industry a bit in some significant ways. Number one, it's taking a long time for online retailers to ship things. So um, if you are thinking about signing up for outfit formulas for summer 2020, I recommend doing that earlier so you can get your shopping list in hand and you can get your orders put in. But anyway, back to the trends. <laughs> uh, a lot of these things are pieces that you've probably seen before or pieces that you bought last summer. or Maybe you bought some of them in the spring. Um, I reused tons of pieces from the spring 2020 outfit formulas in this capsule. So um, that's another good thing that you can reuse those pieces. But we're going to start off with one of my favorite things for summer, and that is the kimono. So if you watched last week's coffee chat, I think I had this kimono on there. I got this one on Amazon. The thing that I love about kimonos in the summer is, especially when you live in hot places like Texas, you want to add interest and detail and color and pattern to your outfits, not just wear the basic tank and shorts and flip flops every day. And a kimono is such an easy way to do this because it's really lightweight. It adds tons of interest and detail and you're not going to be sweating <laughs> too much in a kimono. So if the synthetic materials cause you to sweat, then you can definitely look for more natural materials in this. There are cotton kimonos out there but they just add a little bit of something something to your outfit to just really complete it out. You can throw this on over a basic white t-shirt and white shorts and throw on a pair of tan flip-flops and you are good to go for the day. Gold hoop earrings, finish it out. Um, such a simple and easy outfit formula that you can throw together. 
if you're seeing me go down in my chair, it's because it's like, it's automatically going down on its own. I'm not getting shorter. Um, <laughs> anyway, so kimono is my number one trend. I absolutely love these. If you buy nothing else for your closet this summer, get you a kimono, go on Amazon. They got lots of options. All right, my second thing that I love, and this also falls into the category of adding interest and detail to outfits without adding heat, which is one of the biggest questions I get asked in the summer months is like, what do you do? I don't wanna wear the t-shirt and shorts or the tank and shorts every day. Um, add some fun accessories. So I got these cute little palm earrings, little resin palm earrings. I wore these yesterday. I had a telemedicine appointment and um, my doctor was like, ooh, I love your earrings. <laughs> so I wore these. Um, so these cute little palm earrings, they add just a lot of interest and detail. Um, I have some colorful earrings too that, um, you know, you can wear these. Actually, I can wear these with this shirt today. They're cute. Um, put on a pair of pink shorts, add these to this outfit, and voila, you have an instant outfit. Um, but just some colorful accessories that add that little bit of something, the details, you don't need to overdo it with a lot of stuff, but the big earrings and statement earrings and colorful um, accessories definitely go a long way toward giving your outfit lots of interest and detail. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about shirt, shirt trends, top trends. Um, so I got this top at J. Crew Factory. And it's got the cute little hem detail, um, the tie detail at the hem. So you're going to see a lot of little details on tops that just give them a little bit of interest. Something that's um, a little more fun than your basic tee, which I tend to fall into the t-shirt uh, rut sometimes in the summer or the tank top rut. Um, so look for tops with details like this. And again, these pieces are all on the summer 2020 outfit formula shopping list. If you want to check that out at outfitformulas.com. Or you can do the free download, which is at getyourprettyon.com slash the number five outfit formulas. And you're going to get the, um, the links to some of these pieces, not all of them, but there are a few of these pieces that are featured in those outfits too. Okay, next up, we've got floral patterns. So florals this summer are on both ends of the spectrum. You're going to see the ditzy floral, which ditzy florals are the very, very small floral patterns. And then you're also going to see the big, bold florals. So if you got my email this morning, if you're on my newsletter list, then you got it. Uh, then you saw that I paired up that top that I just showed you with these shorts. Uh, these are a big floral pattern short from J. Crew Factory, and they have a tie waist. I think they have this pattern also in a short that does not have the tie waist, although I like the tie on the waist just for, again, another little bit of detail. Um, you can see that that's the common theme in all of this that I'm talking to you about today is summer outfits, we rely on the details to finish them out so much more because we don't have the option of doing all of the toppers and jackets and things that we normally do at other times of the year. Maybe you live in a colder climate and you can pull off the cardigans and the white denim jacket and some of the other pieces that I have on the shopping list. Um, in Texas, we can pull those off in grocery stores and restaurants <laughs> because it's always cold in there. But for the most part, I'm not wearing those in my daily life as much. So it's really important to find the cute little ways to add the details to the outfit. So big floral patterns are totally in. Small floral patterns, you're going to find those too. Uh, next up, let's continue talking about shorts. And you know what? I'm going to address this real quick because I know that a lot of you watching and um, my readers for Get Your Pretty On and even women who do the Outfit Formulas program are not fans of shorts or sleeveless tops. And I just want you to know that you can easily substitute any of these shorts pieces for a pair of capri pants, a pair of wide leg pants, um, definitely jeans, capri length jeans, ankle length jeans, Bermuda shorts, Whatever your comfort level is, know that you can swap these out and you do not have to do the shorts. Um, I just want to throw that disclaimer out there. So next up, I've got high waist shorts. Um, this is something new that we haven't styled in the past. So this might be a trend if you're looking for something to add to your wardrobe that you want to add. You could also do a high waist jean with this or um, some capri pants that come up higher on the waist. Uh, or this is a trend that you can definitely skip. But I got these high waist shorts last summer. Um, and the dark wash, and I hadn't really done a dark wash short in years, but I love them. I pair them up with a striped top all the time and some red flip-flops. 
um, and make it an outfit, call it a day. <laughs> so high waist is something else you could add to your trends if you're looking to add in some fun new pieces to your wardrobe. What else? Um, again, in the category of shorts, I've got some of these really soft, comfy shorts. I love these so much. I've been wearing these every day. So uh, these comfy little tie waist shorts and stripes. Uh, I got these at J. Crew Factory and also these little pink shorts I got at Loft Outlet. I needed a pair of pink shorts. I didn't have any colorful shorts and I put a pair on this shopping list. So uh, these are just super comfy. I love throwing these on with a t-shirt, with a stripe top. Uh, they go with so many different things. Um, next up, we've got graphic tees, and I've been putting graphic tees on every shopping list lately. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Again, it's about the details, right? So they just add that little bit of detail. Here's this cute one I got from J. Crew Factory. I got another one that matches these pink shorts that says like London, Rome, Paris. I don't know. It has some cities on it. Um, but I love graphic t-shirts in the summer. Again, the details are everything. They add a little pattern, a little interest to outfits. And you can totally express your personality through your graphic t-shirts. I love traveling. This one is a map of Rome on it. So it totally appealed to me. But these are just a fun way to express your personality and add interest to your outfit. Okay. Next up and lastly, we're going to talk about one-piece dressing. And when I say one-piece dressing, I'm talking about pieces in the category of dresses, jumpsuits, rompers, everything that encompasses that category. So we're talking maxi dresses here, we're talking short dresses, anything that's a one and done outfit, you know I'm all about it. So add in some cute shoes and some cute accessories, maybe put on a topper, a denim jacket, a white denim jacket, a cardigan or a kimono, and you are done for the day. Or you can just pair it up by itself. So I've been showing you guys this jumpsuit that I got on Amazon, it's really cute. It's off the shoulder. Um, so you could definitely do one side off the shoulder, but there is a button in the back. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to do the off the shoulder. It's got a little tie waist here to cinch it up. And then I love this jumpsuit because at the bottom, it's got elasticized um, legs on it. So it fits all heights. I'm short and I can pull it up a little bit if I need to, but you taller ladies, you can wear it kind of as like a capri length. Um, I got this one on Amazon too. So this is just one piece dressing at its finest. Throw this on with some leopard print um, sandals or you can do a leopard print wedge if you wanted to do a date night or you can totally dress it down with just some flip flops and a hat. It's so cute. Um, I love one piece dressing this time of the year. One of my favorite things to wear is maxi dresses. Just throw one on. You can tie a chambray shirt on over top of it and create an instant outfit with that too. So anyway, back to the outfit formulas. If you want to download the freebie and get the five outfits, I'm going to guess that most of you can create these from your closet. I want to hear from you though. Let me know if you have the pieces in your closet and if you're able to create the outfit formulas. And you can download that guide at outfit, I'm sorry, at getyourprettyon.com slash the number five outfit formulas and take a look at those. Again, there's going to be a lot of these pieces on there. You're going to be able to mix and match these pieces in several different ways. Uh, you probably noticed that a lot of the colors and these items were complementary to each other. And that's because outfit formulas is basically like Garanimals for adults. Do you guys remember Garanimals? I loved those things. Um, and Walmart has them. They've brought them back. They're still out there. So it's super easy to do like the mix and match with the tags on them. Like you buy the ones with the monkey tags that go with the monkeys and the lions that go with the lions. Anyway, it's, it was a mix and match thing we had as kids. <laughs> back in the 80s growing up, I loved me some girl animals. Um, but this is kind of the same concept on a more mature adult level. Uh, so anyway, download the guide. Let me know what you think and visit outfitformulas.com if you want to get more information about joining me for the summer 2020 outfit formulas. We're already having a blast styling stuff in our Facebook group. It is the kindest, most supportive environment on planet earth. And, um, we are planning on having some fun this summer with our clothes, even if we never leave the house. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you have an awesome Friday. If you have any questions about these trends or summer trends in general, just drop them in the comments and let me know. I will see you guys back here next Friday. Bye. Happy Memorial Day.